Fucking rip magic. Well, I never know. I want to see if the leap could be made, and also we just got a checkpoint right here. So I was like, okay, I can, I can test my theory. I don't really lose any progress. But yeah. Actually, there's a pathway up here. Does lead to the radio tower? See? Dying helped. I gotta say there's a pathway over here. There's, in fact, a further path moving into the radio tower. There's also a station. Which I mean, is there anything nearby which I really want to explore? Not really. I'll take advantage of this, then. So we're obviously next to the church. I guess we're exploring this area right now. Uh, let's see, one of the points 66 and 72. 66. I'm guessing this is like where the main point that we're supposed to go to is. It's the main point on the map. Might be elsewhere as our main location. Maybe we're supposed to find all these markers, but yeah. Around the 30s marker on the east one, there's 5130. 6247. I think that's actually what we're hanging to for. 62, 47, yeah, it's right there. Because that's the radio tower where I'm looking at there, but maybe not. Everything else is elsewhere. 752, that was, yep, that thing. 54, 61, so the rest of them are all over this area, which I guess makes sense, because I've been skimming around this area for a while. 250. What is there anything around the 4050s? Supposedly there's something around here. Which is on the other path I didn't take previously. I guess I ended up going way over here and missing something there. So where is that? 54, 53, 50, which one was it? 54, 60, or wait, wait, uh, maybe I got the coordinates wrong. 45, so let's try 54, 61. 54, 61 would be here. It's also leading to the point I want to check out over here, which was another point in this right here. Okay, 60, then we have the 40s, 43 and 45. 43 and... Those are over here in this area, it doesn't really surprise me. 62, 47... This is where I think I'm heading towards right now. There's also a 66, 72 this over here, okay. Good enough ideas and all that. Well, back into a wintry wonderland. Radio tower, you're my guiding signal. We're obviously not going to make that jump. Maybe that was all that was up here, or maybe there's a trail over here, I don't know. I'm exploring. There is, in fact, a trail over here. Which means we're gonna follow it. I just have a good sense of direction, so I'm trying to keep general directions in mind. So far, it's led me well in this game. But I don't actually know where our ultimate destination is. I'm kind of just exploring. I think this is where I ran previously. Let's see. 
It could be Windy Wonderland, who's to say? I'm gonna follow this trail. The music's definitely triggering, so I'm going to assume I'm doing something right. I don't know if I should have leaped off like I did. Say nothing. Let me in, and I'll see for myself. I feel like I shouldn't have dropped down the area I just dropped down to. I think I wanted to continue going this way. Or could I? Never mind. That was completely broken, wasn't it? Looks like maybe the path I wanted to take was broken, so maybe that's not for a loss at any level. It's kind of hard to tell, but looks like it, so. I'll take this trail. Yeah, it looks like it fell apart. There's also a note sound. Oh, there's a long way around. I feel magical. 7 a.m. We're finally here. We met a group of Mansi people. They have weird tools. I think they're for hunting. We've also encountered local hospitality when we were not allowed to enter the railway station because we were singing too loud. But we received a very warm welcome from the local school. We had a bit of time, so we met with the students and told them about our expedition. When we reached another station, some drunk accused us of stealing his wallet. Police got involved, but luckily, after some explanations, the whole thing got sorted out. We spent the whole night in the train speaking about love, religion, politics. When we felt tired, we went to bed, but since the compartments were not closed, we decided to keep watch and switched every couple of hours. There are moments when I doubt whether we are ready for such an expedition. Disturbing thoughts are haunting me. Maybe we misjudged our capabilities. Others say we'll make it, but I'm afraid. I have a bad feeling about this, as if a shadow of fear was breathing down my neck. I cannot explain this. It's time to take a nap. Well, we found the way to get across anyway. It was just a little bit tricky. I'm hoping to finally get to that radio station. Ah, for the moment though, the climb is what's important. I like how the moon slowly revealed itself there. Here we go, I think we're going to the radio station. Yep, we're going to the radio station. Before I go there, I kind of want to see what's all around this area, though. It's like a lot of abandoned metal, like there were past radio stations that fell apart. Like a graveyard of just radio stations. This is where radio stations go to die, apparently. Look a little closer. Fifty five north, forty east. Are these coordinates of where we are currently? You know, 
I think these are actually coordinates the same where we're supposed to be right now. Or maybe it's just trying to tell you, no, never mind, they're still trying to, right, that's not right, that wouldn't make any sense of what I saw earlier. They show the locations of where hidden notes are. As there's a hidden note also right here right now, so... Strange icons. There's a note somewhere over there, I'll see if I can get over this to get to it. This. Dr. Grigor Alan Wiss' Testimony of Anomaly 0H91. This is one of those weird science event things. We have never seen such a thing. The activity was off the scale. Enemy readings. It was just beyond any reason. I remember Dr. P Pitek. He said he had heard seeming. He saw angels appearing from the light. It was clear to us that it was dangerous to stay too close to the anomaly for too long, but he had to conduct more tests. Therefore, we decided to use the prisoners. That is why we created Section 22. We're into that science something or another going on, but yeah. I... The spirit that was here earlier is gone now. Oh. Is this where we've been meaning to go this whole entire game? This might be the main story location, let's find out. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Okay, I thought the door closed on us for a second. I was like, oh wait, fuck. Part of me wants it to be the main location. Part of me thinks that I'd rather explore more outside as well. Do you guys think this is where we're supposed to be going? This is ultimately the main location to head towards, and this door's gonna lock behind us when we go through. Well, regardless, our journey has led us here. There's still a whole other part of the map we haven't explored. If we go here now, what we've done, our path that we've basically taken is that we started at whatever fireplace we were at initially. I don't really fully know. I think we started off here. We walked over there. Actually, no, I don't know what was the fireplace we started at. It was somewhere? Somewhere. Anyways, I think we started here, we walked over there, went to the fireplace, ended up over here, we explored all up here, we went back down, have sort of covered over this area now, and uh, we should be sort of like right here right now. So we've sort of explored this whole area and the whole, this side, but there's still this whole other side of the map we haven't explored. There's a forest, there's the stuff down here. We basically explored like half the map, maybe a little bit less than that. But you know what, I'm here, I'll explore without worry. Even the door closes right behind us right now. Oh, hi! Oh. Madness? I don't know. The door will open again. Checking all here. There's another note here, so I guess I'll read it. Also a picture of a guy. The human being's mind is a curious toy. And by pain and madness. It resists, but defends itself from what can set it free. The path to understanding leads through contradiction. We deny one simple fact, the fact that humans are the real monsters. And as such, we should treat each other. Although I had been deluding myself otherwise for so many years, I have finally figured out my true nature. Remember, that in the darkness, you are never alone. There is always someone who awaits your fall. Indeed. And put this way as well. Oh, 
Either someone was nice and opened the door for us, or yeah. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. Wow. You are walking fast. I don't know why I was in run mode right there for a second. This marked off. There is a notable symbol there. I'm guessing this was the bunker thing that we were supposed to see. So, yeah, I'm happy we went down. It's just one of these optional areas. Time does not heal wounds. As I've recently learned. This truth was pounded into me by pain, cruelty, and lies. I learned from this. I remembered. It nearly touched the essence of my understanding, becoming the revelation of truth. When they dragged me down the corridor with my shattered bones. When they operated on me to observe the misplacement of my organs. When they put the worst nightmares into my head. When they closed me up, put me together again and revived me over and over to test the limits of my endurance. And when finally, after so many years, they told me my wife was dead. Time does not heal wounds. Huh. Oh, well, a new area? Sure. I thought there might be a trail over here, so I decided to explore a bit. What one did that mark off my map? Oh. That took off this one. We still got... I guess five other main points. I think maybe this chapter will end once we found all five points that, or we're just trying to find a specific point. And these are all areas of interest, and we just have to find one singular one. I'm thinking the one that we're looking for is maybe the bottom one, 6672, which is right here. I feel like, like this is where we ultimately want to go. That's just my suspicion, though. But maybe it's somewhere, maybe it's one of these other points. Maybe it's none of these points, and it's something else entirely different. I'll follow down the trail. Oh, it's another campsite, and I know exactly where I am right now, but sure, I'll look through it. Da da da. We just found this campsite, which means we've mostly explored over here. There might be a few things here and there we missed, but whatever. Uh, is there anything else in the 40s or below? I'm trying to see if there's anything on the eastern longitude that's below 50 that we haven't gone to. Uh, no, we've been to everything below 50, which means we've basically explored this entire area. In fact, the lowest one is 61, I think. Yeah, 61. So that'd be about in the pillar area. So it'd be 61 and 54. 61. Actually, be down here. 61 and 54, which is when I want to go over here. Actually, I'm really close to there. I would just have to wrap myself around over to there. Uh, but I feel like this is where I'm ultimately supposed to be going. Ah, whatever, you know what? If I don't get explored this upper third of the map, it'll be what it be. But if I do get explored there, then I will. I'm just kind of circling around the map logically right now. So I think it makes sense that the next one I go to is these two spots here. There's one there, and there's one here. That's what I'm going to aim for. I'm here. I might as well do it. So, you know, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. I always have a flashlight, but you know, you don't really need it on. And also, I think for some reason it takes away from the atmosphere. Maybe it's because it's not super dark in this game. It's only a few specific moments that it helps, so. I trust this bridge. Yeah, that glowy mountain we were at earlier is definitely the point of which I explored fully. You can actually use these as a way to tell where it's south and where it's north. Over there is north, over there is south. That's probably why they're partially so visible compared to everything else. 54, 57, let's take a solid look inside, and yeah. So longitude, these just show where notes are, but 54, 57, I can look. 54. Oh, it's just trying to tell me that there is a note like right here, which is actually really close to where we are. Okay. Because those random longitudes and latitudes that you find just point out apparently where uh, notes you can find are. I could take this path to the left to return to the core middle area. In fact, you can even see the middle area from here. But no. 
I, instead, I'm going to make a decision to consciously go this way. If it's where we're supposed to go, it's where we're supposed to go. If it's just another series of events that we can explore, there'll be another series of events we can explore. Really, whichever one it ends up being, I'm fine with it. There's a page certainly close. I think this is the one that was just marked on the map. Or marked by the stuff we saw. There it is right now. Let's read it. Caution, a psychopath on the loose. A dangerous criminal has escaped the Moscow Mental Institute. We have been informed the man is completely insane and delusional. I like how they're throwing so many cliches at you during all this. Scientific experiments, now I got madman on the loose. There was also the Satan ritual stuff we came upon earlier and other oddities. You know, it's just a bunch of cliches really being played up there. Freaky around here. Uh, if I look at my map, I know I'm walking down here. Yeah, I should cross the way. This is actually one of the points of interest. Well, there's another point of interest down there. And apparently the two points meet up. So, yeah, it's actually in my best interest to cross over this way, apparently. Or it would be if the bridge wasn't broken. Well, we'll find another way, I guess. A lot of clothes lined up over there. Let's see how this rolls. Be wary, traveler, as we cross these ways. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the right there. There's a campsite below us. Is this where we ultimately need to go? Here's why I ask. If I drop down there, oh, I guess there's a middle path. Maybe there'd be a way to get back. No, yeah, okay, maybe there would be. Well, we're here. Not the venture, nothing gained, really. Not another campsite, though. I think we could return. Or maybe not. This might be a point of no return. If it is, we're here. We are specifically at this fireplace. We'll go up here first and down here. Oh no, no one would be a point of no return, so we can cross over the bridge just the other side. Those are not clothes, those are things with symbols on them, actually. Over there is where we ultimately are going to go, but I first want to check up here. Well, this is completely normal, I should mention. This is a moment. That fog has appeared again. Lights in the sky. Ones that were talked about there. Let's go check this out. Finally, we made it to the pass. Thank God, we made it. On our way, I felt someone was following us. I heard strange whispers around. I sometimes even caught a glimpse of a moving shadow in the trees. There were moments I could feel someone's breath upon my shoulder. But when I stopped still, hearing the snow crunching under one's boots, and turned around, there was nobody there. I had the impression this is a place of some horrid altar of madness. Nothing is as it should be. Or, or it's some kind of a nightmare. And then we found the bodies. Something told me not to look, but it looked like something was sticking out. Or maybe there was just some voice in my head which kept repeating, go down there, go. I can hear it clearly even now. So I went down and found the remaining four. The way they looked, what on earth could have happened to them? I'm not able to describe it in detail. Smashed skulls, twisted limbs, broken 
ribs, torn, cut, or burnt skin. Never ever have I seen anything like this. A gruesome image of madness, or some sick experiment. As if someone or something played with them and abandoned the destroyed toys in the forest. I felt madness was slowly but firmly overcoming my soul. to a rest. What if we go back up? Guess not, but oh dear. Well, let's head back down, though. Okay. And the snow kicks back in. That's always fun. Guess next up is to check out the point down here that was the point on our map that we thought was the one up there. Needs four more to discover, so let's continue. This down here may be the important one. We're either looking for the important one or we're just trying to trigger all of them. Now, there is a chance that this will actually lead me down up to the forest over this way, that we can continue circling around. But in case that's not what it is, this may be the end here, because I'm not sure if these two paths end up connecting or not. They might. Maybe they won't. We'll find out. Because if this doesn't connect, this literally is a dead end. I don't really know how to get back up. There's also a page we're obviously hearing. It took me a second to realize there was a page sound, but I see it now. Let's read it. Excerpts from logbook entries written by Dr. Ivan Wonski. Do you know what we wanted to do? We played gods. Telekinesis, telepathy, group hypnosis, causing mental and physical disorders, crane disin disintegrated space... Or space Subjects and I even handle a sample of the radiation. The ones that somehow survived behaved as if possessed, communicating with us in different voices, languages that we could not even recognize. And then all of them died, one after another. Some turned into rock and some into ashes. I remember one who levitated, all of his limbs twisting, he froze like that above the ground. A long time has passed, but it still haunts me. I remember it. I see it happening in front of me every night. Did anyone survive? told me that nobody did, but I think one of the subjects could have survived. Do you have any idea what we have done, my dear Anton? Where am I according to the map? According to the map, I am leading out this way, I guess. Which is definitely a path that can be taken. I kind of want to go the other way right now. I want to go through the decrepit dead forest. And then it could catch my attention, but yeah. Let's just head on down. Da, da, da. Strolling down the mountainside. Could be more dead forest over this way, but we're going to ultimately go to the left, which looks like it might be occurring right now. The sound of snow is actually limiting and the area is starting to get a lot darker. Like, a lot darker. And now it's going to stop snowing. That's, that's definitely notable. Um, we should be around the, this point. Where we want to go is here. I do want to see what's through the dead end first, I guess. If I want to find what's on the dead end, I should take the path here and just go to the dead end. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, there's a note on the dead end. Thought there might be. Let's read it. We slept in something you could call a hotel. Two persons per bed. We woke up at 9 a.m. It was actually quite comfortable, although it was a little cold because we forgot to close the window vent. We ate breakfast packed our things, and at 11 a.m. we were ready to go. We set off in the back of a truck, so it was a bit cold. During the ride, we talked about absolutely everything we could think of. On the spot, we spoke with some local workers. I remembered one in particular. 
He had a red beard. Friends called him Beardman. We cooked and ate dinner and now we are resting. Half of the group is looking at some maps, the rest are sleeping. I started handling the equipment and writing. It is still a bit too cold. My hands are shaking, but finally my thoughts are much brighter than yesterday. No creepiness in them whatsoever. There's a long way ahead of us, but the only thing I can feel is excitement. It seems as if the forest is calling us. That beautiful, magical, dark forest. That's a romanticized view of it. Now this should be a dead end, but I'm gonna check anyway. I think we're about to see the dead end this, but oh no, no, it's looping me back around. Did I actually end up taking this area? As opposed to the area I thought I was taking? Maybe. Maybe I just found the dead end. No, no, there's a path still. Regardless, we're gonna end up at the location we want to go to shortly. Even though the snow did stop, you know, I can still hear the wind, and it's definitely a lot darker than it was a little bit ago. See, the flash that looks, uh, works a bit better here because it's actually kind of dark. I mean, you can still see well without it. But this time it adds kind of to the moodiness. And my flashlight's starting to react to something. Oh! Something glowing here. Animal kilts in a glowing home. Go this way, I guess. Actually, where was the map that we picked up? Or the page. The page is over here, so I guess we should be here. Actually, speaking of pages, I think I hear another one. I definitely hear another page. Imagine it, there is actually something wandering around here. I was like, huh, did I hear something coming towards me? I was like, oh, I'm probably just imagining it. Oh, it's still there. I'll avoid it in the meantime. There is definitely a page somewhere around here, though. Still trying to locate it, but yeah. Well, that was unfortunate. Continue. Be wary of traps. At least that's what I believe we should be wary of.
Oh, right, it stopped us where we picked up the last page, because pages have, like, checkpoints in this game, I remember that. Which means we're about to find the decreptic house again. And it's time to determine to find that page that I hear just in the wind. Did I just go around? 